Hi everyone, Code Queen Ayeli. It's been a while since you've seen my face, I know, but I'm back. In this video, I'm going to show you how to send a triggered email using Wix code by designing an email template the same way that you design a Wix shoutout. Let's start by going into your new Wix dashboard. Inside of your dashboard, find the word promote. Click on that. Then click on triggered emails. It'll open up a new window. Here you will find three steps that you'll need to create the triggered emails. We'll be creating our email first. After we design it, we'll get the code so we can plug it into our page on the editor and then our emails will be sent automatically. At the bottom of the page, you'll see a button that says learn more. Click on that. This will lead you to a small article explaining a little bit about what triggered emails are and how they function. At the bottom of that page, there's another link that says create a triggered email. If you click on that, it will take you to the page where it has step by step everything that you need to do to make this happen. But of course, I'm going to walk you through those steps now so you don't have to worry about reading. So back in the dashboard, click Get Started, and it'll take you to a page that basically looks like Wix shoutouts. You can customize a lot of things. You can change the background, choose the colors that are already there, click the plus sign, add a custom color, or you can change the color of the inner pages. I'm really not going to focus on the design right now. You can play around with these settings later and really spend some time thinking about a good design for your email template. If you need some good tips or good ideas, check out the Wix community YouTube channel and watch Wix Insiders because they have really good design tips. I'm just gonna leave these settings like this for now just to have something on my page. If you've never edited or designed a Wix shoutout before, Basically, it's just like the editor. You click on an object, you click on the text, and you start typing away. There's a little button that says edit, click on that. You can add some bold font, you can change the words, many things that you can move around. Um, you can even add images, you can edit the image to switch it up, add a link, if you don't see an item that's already in the template, click the plus sign on the left side to add new elements and drag and drop just like you normally do. Now let's add a little bit of code. At the top, I'm gonna to change the subject. I'm gonna type in hi, comma, and then the space, and an exclamation point, got your message. Before the exclamation point, I'm going to add a variable. Just click on the button. I'm going to type in the word, the letter, or the word name, <laughs> and I'm going to do it again over here. Hello. Click on add a variable. Type in the word name. Click add, and it adds it there. That's it. A little bit of code. Now let's add some more. Down at the paragraph, I'm going to add a line. This is your, no, this is the message you sent. Add a variable, click on message, and click add. Why am I doing this? We'll find out in a bit. But now we've added a little bit of code inside of our email template. Now let's save our work. Click Save and Publish. Since this is my first time, and it may be your first time too, sending any type of email, maybe Wix shoutout or triggered email, we need to configure some settings. So click on add details. It'll ask you for your name or the name or the title that you want to appear on the actual email itself. And then you have to add your email address. After you have verified your information, make sure that you type it in correctly, click save. After your information is saved, it will send you a confirmation email to confirm that it is your email. 
get the code that they sent you, type it in here to verify and confirm that it's correct. After you've verified your code, click got it. <laughs> And now let's try saving and publishing. Now it saved it successfully. It gives us a little confirmation ID code and a cute little code snippet. We want to copy that, so click copy. Because now we have to go to the Wix editor to add it to our page. Inside of your editor, go to the page with the form that you built with Wix code. If you don't know how to build a form from scratch, please watch my other tutorials. Let's go to the page code at the bottom. This is where all the good stuff is going to go. My code on this page is already complete, but I'm going to show you how I filled in that code. Let me show you an article. How to send a triggered email article is a more detailed article than the one I showed you before. It also shows you the steps on what to do to create the triggered email. We already did the design, we already did the code, and then it actually gives you example code that you can copy and paste because this is what it should look like at the bottom of your page code. I'm gonna copy this one. And I'm gonna go back to my editor and I'm gonna add it at the bottom of my completed code just to kind of show you how I was able to complete my code. The first element I changed was the data set. Change the name to match the data set that's on your page. Then I'm going to change the ID. Remember that ID that they gave us? Let's go back. This is the ID that they gave us. It's in the little code snippet that they provided. That ID needs to match the code. Back inside the editor again. Remember to change that ID right after the word wixusers.emailuser. Then go through each line and change the hashtag name of each value. Depending how many elements you have on your form will be how many lines you fill in. Now we test it out. So I didn't want to bore you by filling out the form and taking a whole 15-20 seconds to do it. So I already did that. Here it is. I did a template, I filled in the form, it captured all the information, and it saved all the information inside of the database so that way I can use it for whatever I want on my entire website page. Have fun creating your new triggered email templates. Super easy, super fast, and look, you just learned it in under 10 minutes. See you soon.